Pisces, this is Soul. And Pisces, we're going to take a look at um, your weekend uh, energies uh, regarding love and romance. The 16th, September 16th through the 18th, uh, I decided to try something new uh, just to see how it would um, go across, you know, my channel and everything. So um, you probably had a sneak peek at the other videos that I had posted. So now I'm going to do your energies here. So we're going to do your energies uh, with the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck, I have reversed some uh, cards here in this deck and also to complement uh, the energies and looking at love and uh, relationships for you for the uh, weekend. Staying focused only on um, love and romance, uh, we're using the Truth Oracle and also the Bish. Yeah, bish, what's the T? Okay, <laughs> I had to stop and think there for a minute. Anyway, Pisces, I hope all is well. Uh, these energies are going to be for Pisces, suns, moons, Venus, rising, uh, singles, couples, uh, same-sex loving energies. And let's get underway here. So let's see what's going on here for the energies for Pisces. My fellow fishes for the weekend, love and romance. Messages for Pisces, suns, moons, risings, Venus. So if you haven't, uh, you know, did a sneak peek on the other videos, I'm going to lay out five cards here from this deck. Do uh, three each and the shadow from the other decks as well. So, and then after laying down five cards here for you, Pisces, I will give you a story to see exactly uh, what could be going on for you, uh, potentially, when it comes to uh, relationships. All right. So, Pisces, let's begin. Uh, we're going to lay out the cards here. And, well, good one. Major Arcana, the Justice card. We have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. We have, also have the um, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Wow. Okay. You need some clarification about a relationship. Then we have the Seven of Cups here. Options. There are options. Um, someone may be uh, telling you how they feel about you and it's uh, genuine, usually genuine when the Seven of Cups shows up. Last one is the Strength card, Major Arcana. So we're already starting off pretty good here for you guys. When the uh, Justice card shows up, shows up here, this is one of my uh, marriage cards. So somebody could be just, you know, getting married in front of the Justice of the Peace this weekend. Uh, I do feel that the relationships aspects, if you are engaged in a relationship already, then, you know, you might experience just the balance type of energy here with your relationships, the peace. I'm sorry, the doves at the base of her feet are indicating peace, harmony. Uh, some of you may be dealing with fire signs because always look at the justice card with the fiery red hair, the fiery robe, and the fire itself. Um, so Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So things uh, going into the weekend, and this is also for the singles too, going into the weekend that your energies are more, um, you know, balanced and whatnot. At least on a um, mental level, okay? Because we didn't, well, we did draw some cups. So it could be mental and emotional, uh, which is a good thing. So we have the Justice card, the Major Arcana, that opens your energy up. Two of Pentacles here just represents someone who could be interested in you, two people. You could be uh, interested in two people. You could be dating two people, juggling two relationships or whatnot. It's just a small type of uh, imbalance there. And uh, the Two of Pentacles here represents uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And this uh, Justice card here represents um, Libra, of course, Gemini, and Aquarius. The situation here uh, with the Ace of Swords, just, uh, you know, in the reverse position, simply means that there is some uh, energy here related to... Um, there may be some questions uh, that may be asked, um, you know, related to your uh, relationships this weekend. Because you're not... Um, getting the uh, answers that you seek, you're not getting any clarity because normally the Ace of uh, Swords in the Upright is always about you speaking your truth, gaining clarity, taking action, making moves, making decisions. You know, this is a card of, you know, excitement and adventure. Definitely um, 
you know, victory and success. But when it's in the reverse, then it's just the complete opposite uh, somewhat. So it means that, you know, you might be going in here asking questions over the weekend related to your partner's um, indecisions related to, you know, activities. If you are engaged in a relationship, uh, it may be that some singles out there may be still trying to uh, put things together or get some sort of clear vision or, you know, situation to mine in terms of, um, you know, future prospect relationships because what follows the ace of swords in the reverse is the seven of cups okay and that's all about those options so it could be indecisiveness and not taking action because there may be some options uh available to you or somebody might be interested in you and you're just not sure this is a card of uncertainty when it's in the uh uh, reverse position. So for others, then, you know, if you are still single, you know, there could be somebody who um, you are dating or there's, you know, somebody who's interested in you. This person, uh, even for the couples, this person may be expressing themselves on a deeper level uh, when it comes to um, your energies over this weekend. And that's not a bad thing. Seven of Cups here represents you, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, I always say when the Seven of Cups shows up here that, you know, if a person, uh, just like the moon, if it, you know, the major arcana of the moon shows up here, it's usually genuine feelings, okay? So this is usually genuine feelings. I always say that you got to be careful, though, of... Um, you know, having choices um, when it comes to love and relationships, because you may end up mm, may end up deciding to, ch you know, pick and choose the wrong one, possibly to date. It may have something to do with the two of pentacles in terms of someone who may be, um, there, you know, two people interested in you and you're not sure who to continue to date or, you know, even start a date. So that's what I'm getting here. A Seven of Cups, of course, is a good card. It's representing love and emotion. So there could be options going on here uh, for several of you this upcoming weekend. But I feel that it's more having to do with um, either your expression on an emotional level to the one that you are already uh, in a relationship with, or you could experience a deeper emotional level coming towards you energetically from the person that you are with, okay? Strength card here, you have all the strength. and You have two major arcanas here, so you have the strength card. This is a card of uh, sexual energy, sexual expression, uh, feeling ferocious, feeling, um, you know, powerful, feeling, you know, like... In, there's a lot of intensity that could be uh, going on. Some of you may be, uh, again, dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, specifically, and Sagittarius. So uh, I just feel that this weekend, for whatever reason, for you Pisces, for some Pisces that I'm reading for that, you know, actually, this is pretty good. I like this energy for you, uh, Pisces. You have the uh, Major Arcana, the um, Justice card showing up here, starting your energy off, and then you finish off with the Strength card. So whatever is in the middle here in terms of your moves and your uh, actions, whether they're, you know, um, in action or indecisiveness, I still feel that the weekend is going to be favored for you when it comes to these relationships uh, this weekend. Okay, so you have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear because the strength card is here in support of you. Um, with the Ace of Swords, let me swing back here to that Ace of Swords again. You know, take those challenges, take those risks, um, get all the information that you need to get uh, to know or obtain about a relationship a potential relationship could be some sort of uncertainty uh, also going on with those Pisces who are already in relationships. And that might just be activity level, you know, having to decide what to do together, um, you know, with the weekend approaching and whatnot. And uh, I feel that, you know, that's not going to be too much of a problem here for some of you because you got the strength card to support you. And then, you know, several options are open, um, whether it's for, um, having to be indecisive about uh, what to do together as a couple or, you know, for the singles, what you're going to do in terms of putting your energy out there to potentially meet somebody new. Or if you are uh, interested in two people and having to make a choice or not sure or not clear about having to decide about who you want to, um, you know, go out on a date with, because I do feel that there's offers Someone's, you know, possibly going to invite you out or, you know, initiate some sort of, um, you know, date energy. 
So you could be uh, in communication. This is also to the, um, well, I say communication, but it also could be lack of communication, not trying to be clear about, uh, you know, specifics or what your intentions are going to be or what the person's intentions are going to be towards you. Okay, so that's what I have for you. And uh, like I said before, it's not too bad. So that's my summation of the energies for you for this weekend. And, you know, take these messages with a grain of salt. I'll take what resonates and leave the rest alone. So let's get into the uh, truth messages. Oh, I forgot, you know, and <clears throat> I forgot to do it for the other signs. I think I caught it maybe with one or two signs that I read for last, but I'm doing the shadow here too. Uh, Six of Wands is a victory and success. Of course, it's in the upright. So something positive is definitely ha happening for you this week or something um, positive is moving towards you. Now, we're talking about love and relationships. So uh, you could be traveling over this weekend with your significant other. Uh, if, it, if you are, you know, wherever you go, whether it's short distance, long distance, it's safe passage to, safe passage from. Um, Yes, singles could be, um, you know, traveling somewhere and then, you know, wherever your end destination is, uh, there could be some sort of romantic link based on the Seven of Cups showing up here in terms of options. So, yes, Six of Wands, fire energy again. Again, I get the feel that some of you are in uh, relationships or have interest in fire signs or it could be fire signs that are interested in you. Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. All right, so let's move on here with the truth uh, messages. And I never read these cards in the uh, reverse position. So let's see what the uh, complimenting messages are going to be for you for this weekend. So you start off feeling balanced and at peace with yourself. And then maybe as... The weekend progresses, then, you know, there's choices to make um, with the Two of Pentacles and also the Seven of Cups. And then not being clear and sure, or there's some sort of uncertainty or not enough information gained to give you enough uh, clarity. All right, so let's begin here. Your first message here is uh, independent. Okay, independent. So some of you are just going to be independent or someone could be just um, well, you can still be in a relationship and still feel independent. And I like that because I like people who are engaged in relationships and still maintain their independence. So you may still be in a relationship, Pisces, but you are still maintaining your independence from that relationship. OK, so that could be a message for uh, some of you that you're independent no matter what. Um, coming up next here is I want you. So somebody wants you this weekend, Pisces. Make up your mind. Ace of Swords is in the reverse and you have options. Two of Pentacles. Remember, I said two people could be interested in you. So this card here says I want you. Next card up is uh, healing. So some of you may go on maybe going through some sort of healing process this weekend when it comes to your relationships it doesn't really matter you have the strength card and support if that is the case um so that's what i have there healing we have independent i want you and then healing and then we have um scared okay scared is the shadow energy wow scared of what scared of relationships scared of new love what is it pisces what are you scared of taking risks taking chances uh, again, I will connect that with the Ace of Swords being in the reverse. Uncertainty, confusion, okay? Not clear about something. So you may be scared to possibly go out on the first date, go out with somebody who is interested in you. It all depends on what's going on with you. All right, so let's get on to the Bish. What's the T? Yeah, I wanted to keep this reading very simple here. Narcissist, so some of you may be dealing with a narcissist. <laughs> These messages uh, are straightforward here. Next message up is uh, he, she will be mine, interfering in your relationship and digging up dirt on you. Well, that could be a possibility. Um, know your friends, know your family members. Somebody is interfering here. Nin oh, you know what? New man has shown up here for three other signs that I read for that I already posted. 
Uh, the roles could be reversed. This could be a female. So, you know, for those single males out there that are Pisces, this is a new energy coming through. Okay, so there's a new man, new woman coming through. All right. Um, shadow energy is a return. So there could be a return of energy um, for someone if they're, you know, experienced some sort of recent breakup. Um, also with the return that the person, if they are going to return, they thought about you or they're thinking about you. Um, you could be returning to someone that you may have had uh, a disengagement with. And then, you know, you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you. And then all of a sudden there's some sort of synchronistic uh, energy that's taking place. And then, you know, somebody contacts, um, you know, one another or each other contacting. And then also, too, I'm going to connect this here with the Ace of Swords, the uncertainty. Because if there's somebody that you were, um, you know, recently associated with or had uh, a relationship with, uh, could have been just fresh, it could have been a month ago or whatever, and then, you know, that whole relationship is still fresh in your memory, well, then the Ace of Swords in the reverse is, uh, am I sure or I'm not certain that I want to go back to this person? You know what I mean? So that's what I'm getting with the return. So there's the possibility of that energy as well. Well, this is what I have for you, Pisces. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Let me know what you think, your thoughts are and what you think of this uh, type of energy. I wanted to try something new just to, you know, uh, get my channel uh, up and moving. Um, again, take these energies, um, if they fit, resonate with you. And then if they don't, don't worry about it. Leave the rest behind. Okay. So be safe in all that you do. Enjoy your weekend ahead. Uh, be well, keep smiling for me, Pisces, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.